I watch like all these motivational videos and I still don't want to do my work. Duh. Because you didn't want to do your work when you started watching those videos. We can go to the islands. We can go see the waves. We can listen to the ocean. Just so you can see a bay. See a bay. I hate this channel. No! Okay, hey YouTube, what is poppin'? It is Brie Hall, and today's video will be kind of an impromptu get ready with me. So you guys are about to see a real get ready with me, as in I'm not about to do the most, but first. <sighs> Cucumber, apple, kale, mint, ginger, and lime. Made it from scratch, it gives me so much energy every morning. And this is less about the get ready with me and more about uh, the topic of the day. Got some little red spots in the center here. <laughs> Today's topic was gonna be motivation because a lot of you guys keep asking me, how do I get motivated or as motivated as you? I know you guys want a book haul that's coming soon of like my favorite books, but one of them, just as a sneak peek, one of my favorite books I've read all year, it's called The Motivation Myth. And um, I'll find the author for y'all to put in the description box. But this book was so good because it just speaks about how everybody thinks that you need motivation. You know what I mean? Ignore me getting red. Y'all know I got sensitive skin. The book basically talks about how everybody thinks that motivation is the key to success. But if you really, really think about it, if you were only to work out when you're motivated, you're probably only gonna work out like once a month, once every three months. You know what I mean? Because motivation is like that supercharge, like, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to kill this right now, da 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 da. Lock in on your dream, lock in. Turn off the Blackberry for a minute, turn off the Twitter, get off the phone, stop gossiping, get off the corner, put the blunt down, lock in. And there's this false belief that that is the mind state that every successful person is in. That we're vibrating on such a high frequency that we, you know, are constantly motivated. Perfect example would be today. Like, I just was going to a, a family birthday party and literally, I could have just said, you know what, I already made it to eight days of Vlogmas. I can just stop and not do what I'm supposed to do. But I made a commitment about Vlogmas, so I literally said, hey, before I go, since I got to do my brows and stuff anyway, I'm just going to um, jump on camera with y'all and tell y'all about what I think about that. Because I've been getting so many messages about that. And I think it just needs to be addressed. Most famous or successful people that you look up to do not rely on motivation to get anything done anything at all you gotta think of oh, i'm so red right here ignore that y'all like it's not an allergic reaction or nothing it's just i woke up with like a few minor little spots we gonna drink this today and some water and we gonna be straight they look at rocky balboa and all these like and creed and all these movies but the what people miss is the most important part of all the movies that are about successful people I'm taking my Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer to carve my brows out real quick. But yeah, the most important part of all these movies is the fact that at some point in every movie that you love about a superhero or, or a fighter or an athlete, there is a quitting moment, a moment where the person doesn't want to do this anymore. My favorite example of this is if you've ever seen the Gabby Douglas movie about how um, at one point she actually quit gymnastics. The Olympics are exactly 210 days away, and you want to quit? Is this a joke? No, I want to go home. Then you're going to have to do better than I want to go home, because this, this is not making any sense. I just want to be normal, ma. Maybe you weren't born to be normal. Everything you've done your entire life has been exceptional. You are not going to quit. No, you have worked too hard for this, Gabrielle. Exceptional people don't just quit. I don't want to be exceptional. I don't want to go to the Olympics. And that's real. Like, celebrities and people who you see as successful go through that all the time. But the difference is we don't rely on motivation. We rely on our commitment to being committed to something. When we make commitments to something, we see it through. You know what I mean? And then we also rely on um, discipline. Discipline is so much more valuable than motivation is. I read something really good recently. 
and they said people think that motivation comes first and then you do your task whereas it's the opposite you do your task and then you get more motivated i've been doing vlogmas every day so every day i get more motivated even when i'm not motivated i just remember how i felt yesterday uploading you know what i mean vlogmas and i'm like okay i'm disciplined i'm committed to this and no matter what i'm gonna get this video done even if it's three hours before the deadline for when i need to get it done i'm gonna get it done okay <laughs> and look like this but yeah so that that's one of the main points i wanted to make today and just talking to y'all because i know a lot of y'all are in the midst of finals and stuff and you're feeling like you know what i mean you need that extra push but motivation is like coffee you can drink all the coffee in the world that sounds terrible and still not get any work done because what really drives you to do your work is the discipline and the desire to succeed motivation is the energy and like the the superficial jolt of like oh yeah i'm so excited motivation is excitement but it's not realistic for every day if you look at your favorite fitness models or whatever they go to the gym even when they feel like the only the only time people really don't follow through with something is if they're literally like on their deathbed you know what i mean so that's that's what discipline and commitment is it's literally like i literally have to die to not do what i'm committed to and that's something i've struggled with in the past that I, I will literally be frustrated because i'm like i watch like all these motivational videos and i still don't want to do my work duh because you didn't want to do your work when you started watching those videos you know what i mean there's nothing wrong with watching a motivational video um to get you started but starting is the most important part. Like if you need to watch something to help get you started, do do that by all means. If it works frequently, again, do that. But you have to start learning how to start for yourself because I, I know with me, I'll fool myself into thinking the video made me start when in actuality, it's like the feeling of like, dang, I've been watching videos for X amount of time and I still haven't started. I've been having like bad eyebrow days recently, y'all. Does anybody else ever go through this? Like, or at least I think so, hold on. But I still do them because discipline. <laughs> Y'all be like, what tinted moisturizer I use? I'm like, girl, I take whatever moisturizer I got on hand. So today I'm using, I, I hate the smell of watermelon, but this is tolerable. Don't judge me y'all. But um, this is the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer from Glow Recipe. And I have this just here, but whatever moisturizer you have, I do two parts moisturizer and one part of a foundation. Okay, so I'm gonna just do like a little squeeze of my cover effects. Boom. So it's gonna look something like this. And then I just take that huge, huge buffing brush I used for my, uh, my brows. And then I just go in with that. And I just literally buff it onto my face just like this add like one more drop of your foundation the mistake i made today is i used a really high coverage concealer for my um my eyes i'm gonna do a little bit of concealer okay and i'm using this real techniques brush to just tap everything in um i've been getting more into using brushes uh instead of my beauty blender some days it just depends like i, I really like forgot because i used to be like how did we survive before beauty blenders came into the industry and i'm like oh yeah like it wasn't all that bad we sized it all right so we're gonna use some sasha buttercup powder and we're gonna set our face with that and again i use the same brush the same exact brush i used on my uh to blend this out add a bronzer of your choice just to warm up the cheeks i literally just want to rub it in circular motions this is my legit in a rush face, so like, don't give me makeup critique, y'all, because this is literally like a realistic <laughs> makeup tutorial. Like other makeup tutorials you might see from YouTubers, we might be doing that John at like two in the morning when we have endless time. Like this is this is what is real life. All right, so I'm gonna take like whatever face powder I have on hand and I just dust it across my entire face. This is a huge tip I do when um I'm running late as well is having because it makes my makeup look really cohesive okay 
I'm gonna take some Morphe setting spray. Ooh. To finish it off, I always do like a clear gloss right on top of my lips. But yeah, y'all, this is my 15 minute face. If I finished it at a decent time, I throw on lashes, but as I said, I'm going to a kid's birthday party. So I'm just gonna throw on some mascara. All right, yeah, so whatever highlighter you just got laying around, use that. I am using this Kiko Cosmetics. This is actually an eyeshadow in 208. If you've been following me for a long time, y'all know I used to swear by this. It's an eyeshadow, but it works phenomenal as a highlighter. And also they're supposed to be like wet shadows, so you know what I mean? Um, if you wet your brush a little bit, they actually almost look like glass on your skin. So that's another plus. Another really good everyday highlighter is the golden one from Bobbi Brown. That one is something serious. And then whatever's left, I just sweep it across my forehead and you know what I mean? If you enjoyed this um, kind of random video, I'm gonna take my twist down now from these bands and go have fun with the fam. I hope my talk about motivation also helps you. All right, yeah. Is I wet them last night. Just just literally put water on my hand and then just ran my hand down the twist. Nothing too extreme where they'd be wet today. But yeah. And they came out nice and stretched. So yeah, this is gonna be my style for the day too. I think I have one straight. Here, right here. I'm probably going to do a twist takedown tomorrow or like a curly hair routine or something because um, just from like retwisting and stuff like that and just in general, um, I'm starting to get some product build up or I might just clarify my hair with the twist in and keep rocking with these, but we'll see how I feel tomorrow or tonight. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Peace out and gang gang. gang, gang.